Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another video on ECG. I am Dr. Wajid Shabir. I have done residency in cardiology, currently working as registrar cardiology. This is the ECG which we are going to discuss today. As always, another interesting case. But before starting the discussion, I would like you all to pause your video, note down the findings and diagnosis with yourself and at the end of the video compare your findings and diagnosis with what was discussed in this video as you know from our previous videos that the first thing that we look at on the ecg is rhythm for rhythm we look at rhythm strip that is uh, lead to at the bottom of this ecg you can see there are upright and prominent p waves before each qrs complex which means that rhythm in this case is sinus rhythm the next step in ECG interpretation is heart rate calculation. We select a QRS complex which lies on broad vertical line and then we calculate the large boxes between that QRS complex and next QRS complex at 300, 150, 100, 75, 60 and so on. So as you can see that the heart rate in this case is 60 beats per minute. So this is a sinus rhythm at 60 beats per minute. Next step is finding the axis on ECG. We look at lead 1 and lead ABF. As we can see that the direction of QRS complex in lead 1 is upwards. Similarly, the QRS complex in lead ABF is directed upwards. So by applying the rule of thumb, the axis in this case is normal axis. After the axis, if we look at the limb leads, the inferior limb leads, that is lead 2, lead 3, and lead AVF. In these leads, if you note that you can note that there are Q waves in these leads. Q waves are present in lead 2, 3 and AVF. If you remember from one of our previous videos in which we discussed the significance of Q waves, we, uh, we learned from that video that the presence of significant Q waves mean that there is a history of previous, there is possible history of previous myocardial infarction. Another significant findings which you can see on this ECG is there is 0.5 to 1 millimeter ST elevation in lead V4 to V6. Now with this kind of ST elevation, there could be three possibilities. One is lateral ST elevation MI. Secondly, there could be early repolarization and there could be possible acute pericarditis. First of all, the, we will rule out early repolarization. Normally, if there is early repolarization, repol you can find ST elevation in mid chest leads that is lead v2 v3 and lead v4 well in this case the st elevation is present in lead v4 to v6 secondly there is, if you can see that there especially in lead v2 and v3 that there is about 0.5 millimeter st sagging so the presence of st sagging it is uh, because of the reciprocal changes reciprocal changes as a re result of st elevation in lateral leads so if we sum up the findings there is sinus rhythm with normal axis and there is q waves in inferior leads indicating the history of previous inferior wall mi along with st elevation in lateral leads which means that there is ongoing ST elevation MI uh, in the uh, territory of circumflex. 
so this is all for today hopefully you would have liked the ecg it will have enhanced your knowledge for more videos on ecg kindly subscribe to our channel and stay tuned Till next time, Allah Hafiz and take care.